We are following a new wildfire burning near Heber. What's called the Big Hollow Fire has forced some people to evacuate their homes last night. You look at the video of the flames and you can see how big that fire was at one point. ABC 4's Jordan Verdadero is live now in Wasatch County with the conditions firefighters are facing this morning and the harrowing night for homeowners. Jordan. Residents on Little Sweden Road had to evacuate last night at 930, but that evacuation was lifted just a couple hours later. But what I want to show you right now are how close these houses are to this mountain where Big Hollow Fire is taking place. Uh, officials told me earlier that these houses are just about a mile and a half away from where you see this fire to your left. And in less than 24 hours, 500 acres have burned, according to Utah wildfire officials, and they are expecting that number to go up. But there's been aircraft flying in and out of this mountain all day, dropping to team these fires that are happening right on your screen. And we spoke to residents last night who say the worry began when the wind changed, moving the fire toward the residential area. We thought we were fine for a long time. Everybody told us we were fine. And then all of a sudden the wind picked up and changed and we, you know, had people knocking on our door and saying, get out. Officials say they will be keeping an eye on the wind to make sure these homes near Little Sweden Road aren't at risk. There's over 90 officials here from Wasatch County, Utah Division of Forestry, Fire and State Lands try and corral the, the one portion of this fire that we're really concerned about, which is the more of the east side where we've still got those voluntary evacuations in place. We know that this is human caused and under a investigation and access to roads in the area will be limited. Officials tell me that they're expecting to be working on this fire for the next few days. Reporting in Daniel, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News. All right.